All right, hello my friends. We are back with this video talking about functions. And functions are a way for me to eliminate some repetitive code in my programs. They do a lot of stuff for us, but that's the kind of gist or the focus of this particular um, video. So right now I have a calculation on the screen. I'm calculating horsepower. Um, this comes from my automotive friends and it tells us how many horses to generate power that would be equivalent to some particular engine. And I've got some numbers here for the Ford F-150. And because if you are not an automotive person and don't know anything about this equation, I know that you are ridiculously curious about what torque is. Torque is the force that's being applied to the cylinders to turn them. So some engines put a lot of force to turn those cylinders and some don't have as much. The Ford F-150 applies 410 pounds per foot. And then the RPM is a number that talks about the revolutions per minute of the cylinders that are in that engine. And why am I talking about all of this? You don't need to know. It's just an equation and we're just using it as one of our examples here in this particular lesson because it's actually a fairly straightforward, simple equation to look at. And I have selected just some values that might be um, available for this engine. However, the engine might have different RPMs and different torques, and there would be then different horsepowers that we'd calculate at different points in time. All that said, I need to do this equation and print some information out to the screen potentially lots of times. And in my example here, I'm pulling up some other engines. I would like to do this for a Vespa and my Honda Civic and the Yamaha R6 motorcycle and the Wurzela, which is a giant engine that is inside of those massive um, ships that carry shipping containers all over the ocean and all over the world for us. So. When I look at this code, everything works great. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Everything is great, and I get this lovely little chart that prints out to the screen here because I've done some organization. But my issue with it as a programmer is that I have a lot of repetitive code here. And if I had made a mistake in my equation, like maybe it wasn't supposed to be 5252, it was supposed to be 5250, um, I would need to actually go and change that there and there and there and there and over and over again. Or if I wasn't happy with how this table printed out and I wanted to do some rounding, like I don't need all these decimal places for my horses. Typically we would round um, to a whole number here. Uh, I to, to edit that, I have to go to every single one of these lines and put that formatting um, in for those particular variables. And so that's a lot of editing that would have to happen in my code. I don't want to do that. There's a better way. So we're going to look at functions as the solution to that problem. So I'm pulling over another file here where I've created two functions. I know that I have two functions because I have two def statements there. And I have called these functions something that has to do with what the task is that they're performing. Calculating the horsepower is where I've decided to put that equation. And then printing the results is where I've decided to put that fancy print statement for me. And I went ahead and did that rounding in there as well. And what this lets me do then is for all of those engines, I can call on these functions to execute for me. And the way that I call a function to execute is I just type the function name. And different functions, depending on how you've defined them, may need to have different results or different values in the parameters. And that's what I am typing out right now, is the values that that function needs to do its job. To calculate horsepower, we identified earlier that we need a torque and RPM. So torque in the definition is the first value in the bracket. So I put my value for torque as the first one. And that means 410 will be copied into the parameter torque or the variable torque. And then it shows up here in the equation. 4,250 is how much RPM I want to calculate for. And so that one is second 
in the def definition line of the function. So it shows up second when I call the function and give it an actual number to use in the calculation. So that's how those things line up for me. And we see that repeated here in the print results. Torque is the first one, so there's my number for torque. RPM is the second one, there's my number for RPM. And HP is the horsepower that that print statement needs to have to be able to um, print that, that whole line or that whole chart that I wanted. And there's that value horsepower that I have calculated. Now we're left with, well, where did that number come from? Okay. In this function, calculate horsepower, it's doing some math for me. And so great practice is that the answer to that calculation is returned. That function is kind of throwing their hands up and saying, hey, I have your answer. Do you want to have it back? You're like, yes, I do. Please, could I please take it? So this return is a special keyword. You notice it shows up in purple. And so we're returning that variable, and that variable HP is being copied right here into horsepower. How does that happen? This is not a lowly little equal sign. It's a very, very powerful equal sign. And what it does is takes whatever was returned from that function and sticks it inside of that variable. So when I call this function calculate horsepower for my F-150, I think the calculation was about like 330 horsepower. That number will be in HP and it will be copied into this variable. So then I can use that variable again here to send it to print. Okay, so this is all set up and working lovely and I'm going to bring up all those other engines that I wanted to calculate for. And this is the beauty of programming with functions is that now I can just call those functions over and over again and the details about how they run, the calculations and all the formatting in those print statements are only one place in my program. They're not copied and pasted over and over again. So I've gone and saved it and ran it and I have my output on the screen. And now as I want to play with that output, I can make adjustments to my program, but I only have to adjust in one place. I'm not crazy about the alignment of this horses. I'm really big on getting my charts to kind of all line up. So I'm going to go ahead and add some alignment in here. Um, this is my HP, that's my horsepower number. I've already done my rounding so that it has no decimal places because that's what makes sense. I mean, you can't have half a horse, right? That's not useful. We want to have our horses all complete and full and whole, but I want that value aligned. So I'm going to right align it because I like to right align my numbers. I'm going to pick six spaces. I don't know. I'm going to run it and see if I like the way that looks. I'm like, yeah, that looks pretty good. I could make it more. Ah, maybe a little too much. I could make it less. Maybe a little, well, it's still pretty good. And I can play with that value to make those adjustments so that I like the way that my output looks. Oh, no, that was not enough. Shocking. That giant shipping container is equivalent to a lot of horses. So there we go. I'm making those changes once. And that's the benefit of functions for us, that the detailed code that really does the execution, like does those calculation, does those print statements, they live inside of functions that we can call on multiple times, but the details only live one place in our program. So when we need to make changes and fix stuff, we only have to change it in one place. All right, my friends, that's it for this video.